In the previous video, we had seen that there are three different ways of uh, doing asymptotic uh, analysis of an algorithm using three different types of notations. So one of them was big O notation. So this is the most widely used asymptotic notation of running time of an algorithm. So in this video, we will explore what is big O notation. So it's uh, asymptotic notation and it gives an upper bound on the running time of an algorithm. And uh, then uh, let's say uh, we have a function gn. So this is what we are going to find. So we are given the running time of an algorithm as a function of the input size. Let's say c1n square plus c2n plus c3. Now we have to find what is the big O notation of this. So this is the gn that we are trying to find. And we will write O of gn, big, big O of gn. This we don't know yet. So what should be the gn? So gn is such that uh, for some value of n, larger than n greater than equal to n0. So n starts from 0, input size can be uh, minimum 0 because it cannot be negative. So input size is increasing and we are interested in larger values of n and it's 0 here, this is n and this is n0 somewhere. So beyond that, if this sum multiple times gn is always more than the original function fn. So this is the ori original function fn. In this case, it's tn, the running time. So fn will be always below that, beyond a certain point, beyond a certain n, n which is n0 and some value of constant c. Then this gn is the big O of gn is this function itself. So many such functions will have the same big O. For example, if we have big O of n, then uh, a function 4n is also big O of n, a function 5n is also big O of n, a function 10n plus 20 is also big O of n. So big O of gn is a set of all the functions such that there exists a constant multiplier c and some number input size n0 such that for all values of n more than n0 that is for all n beyond this n0 some constant times this gn is always more than equal to fn the running time function. So once we find this c and this n0 then we can define big O of that gn. So this gn will be replaced by the actual function. So uh, this will be clear when we look at some example. So the idea is this. So let's say this is a 0, this is n and we have a function like this and this is the running time fn or you can write tn also and this is n0. So before that it may be less or more but after this c times gn is always more than this fn. So this is what this is telling. Then this fn is big O of gn. So let's take a few examples. It will be clear here. So let's say the running time is 5n plus 4. So this is fn is nothing but in the context of uh, algorithmic analysis this is t of n or running time. So we don't know what should be the big O notation. So we write big O of gn and this is fn. So, uh, so this fn should be less than equal to some constant times gn for all n greater than equal to n0. So this is fn is nothing but 5n plus 4 and let's say we take 
this g n to be n then if we take c equal to 5 and then the, this becomes 5 n but this will never be less than never be more than 5 n plus 4 so next we try 6 n now let's see whether 6 n is more than equal to 5 n plus 4 or not so first of all what is 5 n plus 4 so at 1 it's 5 plus 4 so at 0 it's 4 so it's a line like this 5 n plus 4 then if we draw 5 n it will be parallel to this but it will be always less than this but if we draw 6 n its slope will be slightly higher so this is 6 n and after some time it will cross this original fn at this point and this is n0 so we can write 5n plus 4 is less than equal to 6n for what value of n we don't know so when n is equal to 0 uh, this side is 4 this side is 0 n equal to 1 this side is 9 and here it's 6 n equal to 2 it's uh, 14 and it's 12 so it's getting closer difference was 4 then 3 then 2 now it becomes equal so this n0 is nothing but 4 and this gn is nothing but n and this is the c constant and if you try n equal to 5 it will be 29 and this will be 30 and beyond this this 6n will always be larger so this is the graphical meaning of this uh, you don't need to do uh, all this hit and trial every time whenever you see a function like this you just ignore the smaller terms lower order terms and take the largest term largest uh, by largest we mean the largest power of n so uh, here the largest power of n is the term containing that is 5n so ignore the constant also and just take this one and that will be o of n so let's take this example so here the largest power of n is this 5n square ignore the constant so this is o of n square this function and uh, let's say if we have 5n square log n plus 4n square plus 3n log n plus 2 some function like this now you see that here the power is 2 power of n is 2 here it's 1 and then additional log n so uh, n is larger than log n and uh, then n square is larger than this n cube is further larger so this is the order so log n is smaller than n so if you replace log n by n it becomes n square and we know that n is more than log n or log n is less than n so we multiply both side by n so it becomes n square so n log n is less than n square so there is already one n square term so we can ignore this smaller term similarly this one now this uh, is n square log n and this is n square so log n for larger values will be more than one so here there is a one so again this term is larger ignoring the constant larger than the second term so we can ignore this also and ignore the constant so this will be n square log n so this is how we uh, find the big o notation from a given function let's take another example so this is constant here 
so this is nothing but 4 multiplied by n raised to the power 0 and there are no other terms so this is big O of n raised to the power 0 and n raised to the power 0 is 1 so this is big O of 1 so this is a special case when the running time is constant then we write it's big O of 1 so uh, I have been talking about running time but the same thing applies for space also so we do time and space complexity analysis for an algorithm space is also important so the same notation is also there for the space so if some uh, algorithm takes constant amount of space irrespective of the input size then we say that space complexity is O of 1 if we have some auxiliary array and we are storing some intermediate values and this array size is of the length of uh, the size of input let's say this input was also a list of this size then we will say that a space complexity is O of n because we are using O n of a space extra so the same uh, big O notation applies for time and time and space both and we will see this a lot throughout the course in the next video we will uh, see about other uh, asymptotic notations like theta and omega but mostly we will be using this big O notation when we are doing algorithms. So see you in the next video.